Hello, this is Craig Shoemaker, New Media Evangelist for Infragistics. And before we get started, there's just a few things I'd like to share with you. If you have any questions about this screencast, please feel free to email me at cshoemaker at infragistics.com. If you have any support questions, please go to infragistics.com slash get help. And if you'd like to check out the documentation on any one of our controls, please go over to infragistics.com slash docs. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I'd like to show you how easy it is to customize the column resizing behaviors using the Web Data Grid from NetAdvantage 2008 Volume 3. Now, to get everything going here, I have a, a sample page with, with some basic stuff set up on it. I've got a script manager, which is something that's required for using the Web Data Grid. The Web Data Grid itself, with, with no real customizations, all that's been done to it is the fact that I associated the data source ID to our SQL data source, and so based off of the query, it knows what columns to put in there. But other than that, it's a clean control. And the SQL data source is just, it's hitting a local copy of Northwind and doing a, a select for the, the top 10 products out of the products table. So let's go ahead and, and, and get the column resizing behavior set up. So if we come into our smart tag and click on edit behaviors, we'll get our, our uh, behaviors dialog here. We turn on column resizing. We can come into this details pane and start customizing. Now we have these column resizing client events. And just as you would expect, if we define a function name uh, within this area, when the event is fired, it'll call this function. So we'll just uh, call this one column resized. And uh, so we'll create a hook for that in the source um, as, we, as we go along here. And obviously you can do that for resize dragging and resize and also initialize. But we'll just stick with this one for right now. You can turn the enablement on and off. Right now we want to see how it works, so we'll keep that on. And we have auto post, flag, post back flags too. So if you turn this to true when the column is resized, it will create a post back to the server and you can do some processing on the back end. I'm going to leave this for false for right now because there's some other things I want to show you. I think people are pretty pretty well aware of how auto postbacks work. So if we come into the column settings, this is where we can have individual control over what happens for each column. Now, if you don't define anything in the column settings, everything will resize and it'll be turned on for each one of the columns by default. But if I come in here and come into the, the collection editor, I'll have this column setting here. And when I go to column key, if I click on the drop down list, you'll see uh, the listing of all the column headers, which is nice. It makes it easy to work with. So we'll set this up for product ID. We want to enable the resize and we'll say, you know, we only want it to be able to take up 200 pixels of the grid and we always want the ID shown. So we don't want to go any further down than 50 pixels. Okay, that's, that's product ID. Let's do another one. Let's say we want to uh, define the resizing behaviors for product name. Um, in this case, let's turn it off. So everything's turned on by default. If you don't want a certain column to be resized, you can just come in here and simply say enable resize false. So we'll hit apply on that one and apply on the, the main dialog. And so the last thing that we have to do is drop into the source and we have a, uh, a client uh, function that we're gonna call here called column resize. So we just need to fill out the script area for that. And we'll just do a simple alert. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and see what we've got. All right, so here's our grid. We have product ID and resizing is turned on. If I try to resize this out further than 200 pixels, it's gonna stop me. and only let me do it out to the boundary. So we have this out to about 200 pixels and then also our function was fired, so column resized. You know, maybe you resize something on the screen and, and via JavaScript you want to change something else within the layout. You have total ability to do that. If we try to squeeze this down, it's going to stop us only about to about 50 pixels. And then there's our function firing again. Now with product name, we turned it off. So if I hover over the boundary, I'll find no resizing indicator. And since I didn't do anything with any one of these other columns, you'll see that it has the default settings of just being able to turn on column resizing. So that was pretty easy. Pretty rich functionality with just a few clicks and a few values typed in. 
Hope you have fun adding column resizing to your grids. Thanks. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.